Somebody's signature series swim baits got wrecked. Hey! What's going on? These things are not broadhead resistant. Dude, you just wrecked my swim baits. These are my signature series swim baits. Only a couple. You ruined this one. This one. Ruined. Here's a tail. What, what are you doing, man? You're ruining my lures? It's an intimidation tactic. I'm gonna win this time. Is this about fish fight? This is about fish fight. This is a little personal. Don't you think wrecking my own, my, my own stuff? They're not all wrecked. Mo most of them are wrecked. No. You know what, fine. Let's settle this right now. Let's go. Let's go film a fish fight right Let's now. Let's go film a fish fight. This Let's wasn't set up fight. at all. Let's go film a fish fight. Let's go. Hi, my name's Brendan Miller, and ever since I was a little kid, I have loved fishing. Nowadays, I run a fishing channel here on YouTube. But as of late, something has been getting under my skin. My younger brother, Rodney. You see, despite me doing most of the fishing in the family, Rodney seems to always be catching bigger fish and outfishing me on a regular basis. Is this a pure coincidence or does my brother possess some unseen skill that I am not aware of? In order to figure this out, I challenged him to a number of fishing battles to see who will be crowned the ultimate angler. Sit back and get comfortable. This is Fish Fight. Hey everybody, what's up? Brendan Miller here. Welcome back to another episode of Fish Fight. This is episode number three. As you guys know, if you've been watching the previous episodes, Rodney won the first episode, I won the second episode. So we are now tied up with each one, uh, an episode of Fish Fight. And this is gonna be kind of a deciding episode to see who's gonna take the lead once again. So today we are headed up to a little creek. This is a fantastic little creek that I discovered while poking around uh, on some public land. And this creek is chock full of nice, scrappy little yellow perch. And what's so weird about this creek is that it is like the dominant species that lives in this little creek is yellow perch. So we're gonna have a fun little challenge. We're gonna go up there, fish this micro little creek, catch some yellow perch, and have another episode of Fish Fight. It's gonna be crazy cool. We even have a cameraman with us, my little brother Isaiah. So it's gonna be great fun. Come along for the ride. All right guys, so the rules for this challenge are gonna be very, very simple. We are each going to have a half an hour to catch as many yellow perch as we can. Yellow perch is the dominant species today. If we catch anything else like a creek chub or a bluegill, that will not count. Yellow perch are the only thing that are gonna count today. And the person at the end of 30 minutes that catches the most fish will be crowned the winner of this episode of Fish Fight. Rod, do you wanna talk about the lure situation? Yeah, so for lures today, we're only gonna be able to pick one bait and one style of fishing. Um, we're not allowed to rig that bait different ways. We're supposed to stick with whatever we start with. And so that'll just make it more interesting depending on what we pick, may ultimately determine who wins or loses. All right, guys, you heard it here. A half an hour to catch as many yellow perch as we can, and we can only use one lure. Without further ado, let's rig up. Let's do it. All right, guys, the lure I've chosen is this little jig right here. I don't even know the name of it, but it's just a little white jig -a uh with a tiny little jig head, a nice little pink jig head. This uh, particular combination has been dynamite for me. I've caught uh, a lot of fish with it. It's like one of my favorite things to throw in little creeks and rivers like this. So I'm very confident that this thing will get it done today. All right, guys, for my bait, I selected a little power bait grub creature thing. Um, the originals look kind of like that, but I removed some of these bigger claws just to make it a little bit more finesse. And then I went with a really small bobber, which I think is a little bit weird under normal circumstances, except for the fact that this is a really hard body of water to fish. There's a lot of cover around it. And I think it'll just be easier to be able to keep my bait right in the strike zone if I use a bobber. So that's what my setup is. I can't take any of it off until I'm done fishing. Alrighty guys, the challenge is started. I'm gonna get down into here. Now I do have one disadvantage. Uh, Rodney has a cameraman and I don't, so I have to self-film myself. The reason I went up here, guys, is I noticed there's a lily pad and just from past experiences, it seems like perch really like that. We have this beautiful little spot right out here on this log. I'm actually just gonna crawl out on this log. Oh, there was one right there. There's a perch right there. Oh, there's a perch right there. My line's getting tangled. Shoot. Got him, yes. Yes, yes, yes. First fish of the challenge. All right, all right, all right. All righty, guys. First fish of the challenge. Nice little perch right there. Sweet. He's back in. Let's grab another one. Nice shaded little corner back there. There's a nice little deep hole right here. 
don't know if you guys can see that right out in front of this log. There's a nice little deep hole. It's got some nice cover. There's got to be a perch in there. There's a fish down there. There's definitely something down there. There's definitely something aggressive down in there. Come on, bite. Oh, I got another one. Nice. Number two, ladies and gentlemen. Look how tiny that little fish is. Beautiful. Let's get another one. All right, guys, so the first fish of the day, a little micro perch. Beautiful little perch. We're right up under that brush pile, so we'll see if we can't get an aloe one. That's number one for Team Rodney. Right in there. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Got him. Another one. A little better one. Yes, number three. Boom, just like that. There's another one. Oh, shoot. Got him. Look at that. Another one, just like that. Every cast. Every cast. Another little tiny dude. That's number four. See you, buddy. Another one. Boom, just like that. Every cast, dude. It's every cast. Every cast. That's number five. Oh, my, my rod's tangled. Shoot. I don't have time for tangles right now. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, snap. That's the biggest one I've caught. Yes. That's a, that's a decent sized one for this creek right there. That is a nice fish. So that right there is the biggest fish I've gotten so far. Biggest perch of the day. Nice fish right there. Beautiful. It's getting back. Of course, I got my lure stuck on my uh, shirt now. So that's a problem. It's slowing me down. Keep going. Oh, that was instantaneous. Literally, I debate just hit the water and eat it. Fortunately, it's not a perch. It's some type of pumpkin seed, warm out. We'll try to get in there again. Rod went all the way down to the, the bridge. I don't know if he's doing anything or not. Done. Oh, that's a good perch, good perch, good perch. Yes. Beautiful. Definitely an upgrade from the other perch we caught. He's a little bit bigger. Oh, he's keeping my bait. He wants it so bad. That's number two, guys. Ah, I'm tangled again. No way I'm tangled again. This is ridiculous. I gotta calm down. What the world? Yes, number three. We're killing them, guys. Beautiful. They're all the same size. They're by no means big. A Manitoba sized perch, but they are a creek perch, which is a little bit weird. Beautiful. There we go, got one. It's a better one right there. Number seven. See you, buddy. And the question is, do I want to make a move or do I want to just kind of slug it out in this spot? Number four. Number four. Beautiful. We're just going to keep going because we're, we're All right, I'm going to go over to the bridge now. This isn't working out too well. All right, let's get out of here. Instantly, I didn't even have to realize what's going on. That is a perch right there, folks. Number four for the day. Get the hook out. Just a little jumbo or a little guy. I would not call that a jumbo. It's so weird that there's that many. This is a good spot right here. This is a great spot. Lots of shade, deep water. It's gotta be perching here. Oh, was a hit? There was something. Got him, right there. Oh, that's a giant. That is a giant. Yes. Number seven, boys, right there. Come on. See you, buddy. Quite difficult 
because that bridge is so low. Beautiful little fish. Ooh, it's a better one. Is that number five? That's number five. Yeah. Look at that, they are hammering that little grub. Beautiful. Number five. Oh, oh, dude, that's a nice Oh my goodness. That's, that's, that's much bigger than the ones we were catching. Beautiful. Well, we'll do that again. He was right there. That's number six. I may lose track. I'm not sure how many we caught. I'll be honest with you. I haven't caught so many fish in a long time. This is absolutely insane. Here we go. Another one. Boom. We have less than five. We have like six minutes left. That was a hit right there. There's one down there. There we go, got him. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Another one, all right. Tens in the boat, all right. Here we go. Number nine. Number nine. He's not a big one, but he counts. I'm gonna try over against that bank right there. Nice deep, undercut bank. Oh, 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 oh. Got one, another one. Bam. No, no. It hit the shore though, yeah, it got out of the water. Huh? We need to check the footage, we're not sure. That may have been number 10. Huh, it hit the bank. Yeah, but was it half submerged in the water still? No. No, it hit the bank. Okay. Okay, okay, I think we'll have to check the footage. We'll do a replay. That's number 10. That's time. Time. All right, let's go regroup. Boys, we did all right. I think we're in the game. I'm not sure how many fish Brendan got, but I feel confident. I feel like we put up a good fight. I wish we could have went for an hour. That was 30 minutes went past like crazy, crazy fast, but we spent most of our time here. We did really good right here and I don't know. Hopefully we did good enough. Alrighty guys, 30 minutes is up. I am drenched in sweat. I am muddy. I am a little bit shaky too. That was some very intense fishing. I that see was fun, yeah. Rodney's got some mud. I got all some over. dirt on me. It was it was wild. Got a little sweat rolling. But yeah, 30 minutes is up. We each caught fish. Yeah. And uh, one of us uh, one of won. us one of us is the winner right now. We just don't even we know. We don't it. know. We haven't we haven't exchanged scores. So we have no idea. what we're so. gonna do uh, on the count of three, we're both gonna yell out uh, the total amount of the perch we caught at the same time. So cameraman, if you want to count down from three. Three, two, one. Ten. Ten. Oh! We oh, found it all. So uh, yeah, sudden turn of events. Uh, we both thought we had tied up, but it just turns out I can't keep track of fish very well. Yeah. It can be difficult under stress, mm -hmm. I understand, but I don't know, it still stinks for me. So Rodney did indeed catch 10, but upon reviewing the footage, I actually caught 12 fish, which means I won another episode of Fish Fight. Honestly guys, uh, this was a surprise to me and it feels really, really good. I'm very excited about it, very happy about it. Rodney, not so much. No, it was a bummer. I thought I had won. We actually went into a tie break round off camera, yep. or on camera, because we thought that's what we had to do. I won the tie break round. But because we messed up on the counting of the first series, episode, I won. So Rodney's got some ground to make up, and I'm feeling pretty good sitting with two victories under my belt. Also, one more thing I want to point out because somebody's probably going to mention this in the comments. Uh, Rodney caught ten fish, but not all of those ten fish were actually captured on camera. The camera had some technical difficulties, and it cut out for like two or three fish. Yeah. Uh, so we did, in fact, he did, in fact, catch ten fish. He's not playing possum on me. I'm not. We know that for sure. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Rodney's heading out. He's going to go play frisbee golf. Yeah. So I don't know what that's about. If you guys want to support the channel, be sure to check out the links in the description. There is links to merch as well as my signature series, Swim Baits, the one that were gruesomely uh, destroyed at the start of this episode, as well as some Amazon affiliate links to the gear that I use to produce these videos and some fishing gear that I really like. If you guys click on those links, I get a little bit of kickback and it helps me to keep making videos. Thank you so much for watching and as always, stay hooked. I'll see you later.